What's up guys, it's Phantom TC here and today I'm going to bring you my Sky Striker deck. I got second place with this deck at my locals. My matches were uh, Dinosaur. Uh, it was pretty easy. Got me a little bit hard uh, by the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, but after Burner got uh, that out. Uh, second match was through Draco. I had some problems with it because I did some misplay in the first game and the other two games was basically a piece of cake. Uh, the third round uh, was against dinosaurs but it was extremely weird. Basically he did a loop that basically uh, I ended up with one card so I can't do anything else. Uh, and my third round was Alter Guys, that basically was extremely easy. Just the light destroying all the back rows and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, let's get on to the video. First of all, for the monsters, very self explanatory. Uh the main monster of the deck, Tupo Sky Striker is uh Ray. Uh you really wanna see this card uh in your graveyard. Uh if you play engage uh, and don't have like cards, uh, the Hornet drones or stuff, just search for your Ray. Uh, you really want to see this card in your graveyard just to revive her and keep um, the the summoning a bunch of uh, Link monsters from the extra deck. So, yeah. Next, we play a bunch of hand traps uh, two Ghost Ogres, uh, two Effect Veilers, uh, and two Sherries. Uh, Basically, I ended up citing this out. Really, didn't they didn't work? Uh, but eh, I really it was for mirror matches and mirror matches go key and spiral. That's it. But I never play against them, so I ended up using this card for uh, the field spell or uh, multi row. And next, finally, one. Diabolos, basically this is the MVP, you, the same thing, you want to see this card in your graveyard. So the sad thing is that I don't, ha I want to play Flesh Burrow uh, just to get this card out, and in case I get this card out, send the uh, Ray, but I can't find space, but I really wanted to bring you the deck profile, I used to get second. Right, for the spells, obviously you place a bunch of spells, this uh, basically all the spells, uh, triple engage. Uh, best card in the deck, search everything. Uh, the second best card of the deck, or you can say the first card of the deck, summons a token. Uh, thanks to Konami, printing the OTS cards. Uh, the token. Uh, makes a token, and those are all the three ofs. For the two ofs, we play two of the field spell. Uh, this card is amazing. You get to blow this card out and basically special summon Ray. And basically, if you use this effect, uh, if your opponent is dumb enough, uh, if he ogres this card, it's going to be very funny when you summon the, the Ray. And this card can get you out of stupid situations a lot of times. You can set this card and basically blow it up with jamming waves. And your opponent is like, wait, what? And basically special summon your, your Ray from, from your deck. Next, two Widow Anchor. I was looking for a space for the third one, but really, two is okay. The only th bad thing is that I have to keep track on how many I have in my graveyard and in my deck. Next, the MVP. Two multi roll. Uh, basically, your opponent can do anything if you send this card to the. Uh, if you use the effect to send cards to the graveyard. Uh, and during the end phase, it's extremely more ridiculous uh, setting all the cards you basically use during that turn. During that turn, all right. That's you know two afterburners. Uh, comes sometimes. It's a it's it's a good card really. Uh, don't have anything bad to say about it. Then this card it helped me against dinosaurs. Uh, because he, my opponent really like wanted to burn, uh, he burned his entire deck, he summoned the overtech, uh, I like baited out with something else, and basically then did afterburner and revive it with this during uh, their turn. So basically he added the p evolution pill, 
So I had their own dinosaur to negate their own pill that they just searched. So this card was extremely stupid in that case. One jamming wave, well, I have one match that my opponent must reborn my Diabolos. Diabolos cannot be targeted and will uh, have to destroy one card of my field to destroy my own Diabolos. Uh, and this card did all that work. And one of the recycling card, this card is extremely uh, benefit, uh, crucial, uh, very late game. If you summon like your second Kargari, uh, or you summon your second Shizuku, search for this card. You really want to uh, get this card out of your deck as soon as possible. You don't want to stick with this card uh, in your deck for long for a long period of time. Uh, I had one match when I was playing against your Draco, and basically I burnt all my three Kargaris, and the, I, that was my misplay. I burned out my three Kargaris and then summoned uh, Hayata and attacked. So I real then I realized, hell, I can't add my Hercules space, so I have to dump uh, something else, and I have to hard draw this card. Sadly, I couldn't draw this card, even so I basically fil uh, filter my entire deck. But the other two games I won, it was pretty easy. Next, triple force barrel of goods. This engine is extremely amazing. The and rounding. Up one metaphor fusion. Next, triple Kyble, call by the grave, hand traps, all that weird things. Uh, next, two twin twisters, one terraforming, and one uh, reinforcement of the army to search your ray. This is a spell, uh, and basically having your an extra ray in your deck is extremely amazing. For the traps, these two cards. Uh, this one came out like two times against Alter guys. Well, the two times, uh, basically negating the summon. This didn't use it. Probably gonna going to get rid of this card, put something else. But that was the main deck. Now going to the extra deck. All right, for the extra deck we have triple triple Kagari. Uh, sadly, these are not the old keys. Uh, I have one copy, only one. Really want to get my hands on a sec uh, on the on two more copies. Uh, yeah, Triple Kagari, main monster, if you don't have this card, basically you can play Sky Strikers. Next, Triple Chizuku, if Konami releases more uh, um, Sky Striker uh, link monsters, probably got cut this card to two, but three is amazing. And next, uh, Double Hayata, this card, it's basically Engage. Just like attacking, dumping an engage, then adding engage with Kagari if your opponent doesn't negate that. But you play Call by the Grave and all that. Well, what are the what are the odds to ride? But yeah, you get the point. Those are all the Sky Striker monsters. Uh, moving on, we play one Link Rainbow. Uh, it came like two to three times really uh, against Alter guys. I stole their their. Uh, music, then like link it out, summon Link Karibo, had like protection, but they had to, they, they searched, it was pretty sad, but I had like a protection, screw it. Uh, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Space Insulator, uh, one Mermaid, uh, in case I get Ebly, never got Ebly, so sadly, uh, this car was doing nothing, so sad. Uh, one Unicorn. And cherry targets, one is older, and one spire double helix. So that's my extra deck. Moving on to the side deck. Alright, for the side deck, I played two cherry rides. Sadly, one of my friends borrowed my, uh, the third copy and <sighs> never got it back so but two copies is okay three it's better obviously but this is basically against all the all the decks uh what i did i basically took out my cherries and put this card in uh just to like draw each time they search probably put this card in the main deck it's extremely amazing really uh like every deck now searches so basically this 
they, your opponent have two options or they stop searching or <laughs> they give you a bunch of cards so that's like extremely weird situation so next triple red reboot uh, alter guys uh, triple summoning limit Goki never played against Goki sad, sadly um, Triple Leonidas for Trickstar, never played against Trickstars. The set, the third cherries and more cherry targets. Bunch of randoms play in my locals with Cyber Dragons. They're not randoms, they know what they're doing. They basically do a bunch of shenanigans. And when they summon uh, Infinity, uh, basically it's a little bit hard to me to play. So if you cherry your Dare Nova, Basically, they you stop them like in their tracks. They can do anything else because if you want, they want to summon uh, Infinity. They have to summon Nova first. But if you negate Nova, he gets destroyed and summons uh, another monster bigger. So if you cherry their Nova, basically they have to to play with the with the link and with the fusions. And yeah, it's a little bit tricky because the same thing uh, in Europe, uh, the Chimera fleet basically takes your monster um, the same with the the other one uh, Chimera Tech because uh, all your links are machines so that's extremely uh, frustrating sometimes but yeah they, this is my deck I want my token well I got like two tokens uh, the tournament so yeah anyways thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe for more content. Uh, leave in the description below if you want me to do uh, another tech profile on something else. And yeah, thanks for watching.